What's up guys, Jones Fishing here for another adventure back in New Mexico. Uh, we're back at the same brook trout stream we were the last time. Hopefully going to get into a lot more this time since I think I kind of figured out where they're hanging out. Uh, they seem to be way further upstream. Last time I started near the car and I didn't have as good of luck. Um, it took me like two hours to finally catch fish and that was because I was going upstream. So I'm starting out way further up and I'm actually just going to keep working my way up. I'm not really worried about what's downstream of me. It just seems like they hang up uh, more towards the, the base of the mountain. So hopefully you can get some more. Uh, just got back from Utah uh, a couple days. So by the time you see this video, obviously my Utah video is going to be up. Didn't get as much footage as I wanted to, uh, or as great of footage as I wanted to. We fish hard, but it just, it was so rained out and all the runoff was coming down. Even in the tailwaters, they were bad because they had to make space in the reservoirs for the, uh, for the up and coming snow runoff. I ended up catching my personal best uh, smallmouth though, three pounds, two ounces, so that's pretty awesome. Like I couldn't ask for anything better. I, I was hoping I would have been able to get into some trout there but it didn't happen so just stay tuned though we're gonna get into some brookies here uh and i'll get back to you guys when i have one all right guys i definitely see some brookies in front of me this is that hole that I miss. I caught one and missed another one out of the last time. There's definitely a lot of brookies in here. I kind of spooked them coming in, so I gave them like a couple minutes. I'm gonna try and do some really soft bow and arrow casts with these nymphs. And if that doesn't work, I'll try to dry fly. Really, I should try dry fly first, but I don't think they're too worried about eating on top. He came up and ate my indicator. Oh my goodness. I think I spooked him, but we'll see. All right guys, there's a really nice rookie in this hole up here. He's feeding towards the top, so I think I might be able to get him. Let's see here. Nothing that cast. It's a really nice brook. <laughs> I'd love to get this fish. There it goes. I tied on a uh, Chernobyl ant and then a red zebra midge dropper. So we're gonna see what's up. Hopefully, we can get them to go for it. I missed him. He just took my zebra midge. I missed him. He took my nymph. Damn it. I'll give him a second. He definitely felt it, but he might hit again. Got him. Oh. He came up and took the Chernobyl. Thank God. All right. Let's see if I can net him real quick before I lose him. Oh, that's a real healthy wild. That's awesome. I don't even know if that was the same. I think that's a different fish, to be honest. Look at that guy. The barb will suck, so it'll come out just like that. Look how pretty that guy is. Let me get the, that's a pretty, pretty brook trout. Really pretty brook trout. Oh, there's. All right, well, let's see if we can get one more out of this pool. I'm pretty sure there's 
one or two more fish in here. But I really don't think that's that first one I saw. Didn't get quite the underwater footage I wanted to got through my net, but uh, all right, let's get some more. This one, I pulled up too early. Darn it. Pulled up way too early. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. That was a big fish. That was a way bigger fish. Damn it. I need to stop picking it up so early. Oh, and this one right there. That was a big for sure. Gosh. I wonder how many times I'm gonna miss this fish. GoPro battery died on me. Change that out. Give these fish a, a second or two. Maybe they'll be back. Oh, no, I see one right there. Oh, did you guys see that rise? He just rose and took a something. I don't know what he took. I don't know where he went now. I don't know if he's gonna take this big dry fly. We tied a new drop run since we broke off. It's a little zebra midge, black with two glass beads. Let's see if he takes it. There's a lot of midges in this creek, obviously, like there is in most creeks. So, should take it. Oh, I moved that way too fast. He took the dry though, so that's good. He keeps just hitting it. I don't know what he's, it's like he wants it. Maybe I should downsize. I'm gonna go one more time. Cause maybe he'll take the dropper this time. And then if he doesn't, if he just nudges it again, I'll get a downsize. Oh, I missed it again, you little dick. I don't know if he's spooked or not. He missed it that time himself. Give him a second and see if he comes back. There's one. That's a good one. I don't know if you guys saw that because my body was sideways. But that take was great. Let's see if we can get him hooked. Or netted. That's a great rookie. Oh yeah, dude. Awesome. Awesome, bud. All right, let's see here. Good idea. There you go. Came right out. Beautiful fish. Well, no underwater release for that guy since he got out of my net. All right, so we're up at this next hole. And I just saw, oh, I spooked him, I think, because I touched the log. All right. Let's see if I can get this dude. It's right down there. Oh, I missed him. Missed him. I missed him again. Damn it. What is wrong with me? I'm anticipating it too much, I think. Oh, there we go, got him, finally. All right. Oh, he's little. 
Oh well darn. This is a catastrophe. I really need a net with smaller holes. Let's get this guy really get on the inside. Get you a good shot. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna try some here. I'm just gonna try and dip this nymph in and see if I can get this guy right here. It's gonna be kind of tricky. Got him. I don't know how I just pulled that off, but I did. Alright, let's get this guy netted. Too many out of this hole. Alright. Let's get this guy. Oh, looks like he dropped the hook already. It's a good, good little rookie. Good underwater footage. Well, <laughs> we didn't get any underwater footage of him because uh, he swam through my net holes. Well, I got my AZ uh, hopper tied back on. I'm gonna another one tied on. I'm going to see if I can just get him with the dry fly because I think that's actually that bigger fish that moved back and that's actually pretty lucky for me because I don't see a fish up in that area anymore and this fish is fairly large compared to the other ones. So let's see. Oh! Oh! I let him take it too. Oh man. I, even, I let him have it. it was, my hook set was crap, I guess. 